Hello, everybody. Today, I can translate functions using their rules, and we are going to talk about what those rules are. So, we translate functions when I see a plus or a minus with a function. So, let me get my typing tool and make this a little bit neater. And let's start with f of x plus a. So, it's basically f of x plus a f of x minus a, f of x plus a in parentheses, and f of x minus a in parentheses. And basically, what you have to determine is, am I adding to the x, or am I adding to the f of x? If I'm adding or subtracting from the x, well, the x direction is left and right, so it's going to move left and right. If I'm adding or subtracting from the f of x, well, since f of x is y, and y is vertical, I'm moving up and down. So, this first one here, I'm adding a to the f of x, which means I'm adding it to the y, which means the graph is moving a units up. And a could just be any number I'm just using as a variable here. The second one, I'm subtracting a from the whole thing. I'm subtracting a from f of x, so it's going down. Now, the third one... I'm subtracting, oops, I don't know what's happening here, no idea why this is doing that, okay, weird, all right, so in the third one, I am adding to just the x. I'm not adding it to the whole thing. That plus A is just where the X is. So if I'm adding it to the X, it's moving left and right. Now, whenever things are in parentheses, just like a lot of other lessons that we did this year, you're always doing the opposite. So when I think plus, I think right, but it's actually going left. And in the last one, I am subtracting A from just the X, so it's left, right left is the opposite direction we would think, so it's going A units right. So these are basically your rules. You should have them memorized, but instead of memorizing them, also understand what's happening. If you're adding or subtracting from the f of x, it's going up or down, plus is up, minus or down, minus is down. If you're adding or subtracting from just the x, we're talking left, right, and it's always the opposite direction you would think when you're in parentheses plus a is left, and minus a is right. So now we're going to utilize these rules to answer questions. Let's get a fun color. Let's go blue. Nice and bright way to start the lesson. The graph below represents f of x. Match the following equations with their graphs. Well, in A, I'm adding 2 to just the X. What happened to my blue? That's upsetting. Blue. There we go. Because I'm adding it to just the X, we're talking left-right. When you're doing things to X, when you're in the parentheses, it's the opposite direction you would think. So it's going left too. So if this is my original graph right here, which one was translated two units to the left? This one. That's it. B, I see plus 2. Am I adding to the x or am I adding to the whole thing, the f of x? I'm adding to the whole thing, so it's going up 2. Which of these graphs is going up 2 from the original? This one is going up 2. Basically, the vertex is here. This vertex went up 2. This vertex went left 2. C, I'm subtracting 2. Am I subtracting 2 from the x, or am I subtracting 2 from the whole thing? Well, I'm just subtracting 2 from the x, which means it's left-right. It's the opposite direction you would think, so it is right 2. Which graph moved right 2? This one did. And D, am I subtracting 2 from the x or the f of x? I'm subtracting 2 from the f of x, so we're talking up-down. So this is down to, which graph is down to, this last one. It's just a matter of recognizing the rules. And again, whenever you see a plus or a minus with f of x, that's when you're going up, down, left, right. 
know which one's which, and then apply it. I want you to try number two on your own right now. Um, I'm not going to pause it. I'll just give you about 30 seconds or so to give it a try. Okay, the first one I see plus two, it's going left two. Which of these graphs went left two? This one did. The second one, up two. Which of these graphs went up two? That one. This one I'm subtracting two from the x, so it's going right two. Which one's going right two? This one. And the last one I'm subtracting two from the f of x, so that's going down two which is that. All right, so now let's just answer some questions based on that. It's giving me y equals 2 to the power of x. It wants to know what happened to the original graph to get there. Well, I see a minus 2. Am I subtracting 2 from the x, or am I subtracting 2 from the f of x, from the whole thing? Well, I have this whole thing, and from the whole thing, I'm subtracting 2. So I'm subtracting 2 from the f of x, which means it's going down 2. What would this look like if I was subtracting 2 from just the x? Well, let's take a look at our next example. Same thing, I'm starting with y equals 2 to the power of x. I see a minus 2. Is that minus 2 just with the x, or that's minus 2 to the entire thing? Well, that minus 2 is just with the x, so we're talking left-right, and because it's minus, it's going to be right. Two units. Let's just do uh, one more. The function f of x equals radical x. Which function represents a shift of the graph left three units? So if I'm going left, then I am adding to just the x. Which of these is adding to just the x? This one is. This one is adding to the entire thing. I'm taking the entire radical x, and I'm just putting a plus 3 at the end. That would be up. This one would be down. This one would be right. And this one would be left. So uh, do I want you to work on your own at this point? You can do that on your own. You can do that on your own. Um, eat. I guess we can do eight together. Students always have questions on it. So it wants me to graph, it's giving me f of x. It wants me to graph g of x. So let's start with f of x. To graph a parabola, which we haven't really done yet this year, but you've done it in the past, we're just going to go to y equals. We're going to type in x squared minus 4x plus 3. We're going to go to our table. For a parabola, I want a mirror image, meaning the top and the bottom values are the same. As you can see, the 8 is the same on top and bottom. So I'm going to copy down that table. So I have negative 1 through 5. And then I have 8, 3, 0, negative 1. 0, 3, 8. So I'm going to, that's f of x. I'm going to plot those points. Negative 1, 8, 0, 3, 1, 0, 2, negative 1, 3, 0, 4, 3, 5, 8. That's my f of x. Now g of x is f of x minus 2. 
because I see a minus, I know it's going to be a translation up, down, left, or right. Am I subtracting 2 from the x or the f of x? Well, I'm just subtracting 2 from the x, which means it's going right to units. So I'm literally going to take each point and I'm going to move it right to units. Taking each point, I'm moving it right to units. And that's it. The green is G of X, the translation after what right to units, and the blue is F of X, my original. So if I want to translate a graph, I'm just going to take my original points and then I'm going to apply the translation. So whenever you see a plus or a minus with an f of x, that is going to be a translation up, down, left, or right. Decide if you're adding or subtracting to the x or the f of x. If you're subtract adding or subtracting to the f of x, you're talking up and down. Plus is up, minus is down. If you're adding or subtracting to just the x, you're talking left and right. It's the opposite direction you would think. Plus is left and minus is right. Your classwork slash homework is to finish this relatively short lesson, and have a great day.